active this one we just created here i don't need this one so i'm just going to trash that so you create four modules you can call them whatever you know you want them to be if you wanted to name it latest products make sure you know corresponds with the latest products you know new products latest ad you know make sure that it corresponds with it for example if you want to name this one top sellers top seller products put top seller products here and that is going to play a role on the front end because since you have four different modules here, the first two are going to be, let's say the first two are the recently added ones. So this two modules are always going to show the recently added products from the site. And if you want to name the next two that you create uh, to be the, the feature products or to be top sellers, then these two here are going to be the top sellers for that. So every time that all the top sellers are going to be listed here, and then for this column, it can be the next one if you want to call that recently bought products. So this is going to be recently bought and so on and so forth. So every time that someone comes on the home page, they're going to get, they should see eight different products. If you have uh, eight different, you know, listings here like this, then they're going to see eight different products, not the same thing. The reason why you're seeing the same thing, mine here is because I've, I'm adding the same uh, products. I just replicated it. But if you have different products, it's going to show different products. For example, I just did some changes here. And what I did was I changed this, the second module, this one here in the middle, this module right here. This is showing the recently bought products. So if I change this back to recently added products, this one here is going to change. So let's refresh this. So when I change it now, you notice that it changes back to this. So as you add products or as products are being added to your site, the homepage is always going to look different with new products. So the more products people add, the more that is going to be showing uh, on the homepage. So once you've created those four modules, you should have uh, four different modules with four different names. Mine is, is pretty much the same here, just you know for um, testing purposes. So I have these four, and all of these should be in position dash 10. So all yours should be position dash 10. And then once, you, once you're done with that, you want to go over to, to article content articles and you want to click on add new article. We're going to use the JSM page builder, which is what I use to style the page, you know, like it is. When you click on it, you want to put in your title, your title there. My title is welcome to my buy and sell website. Okay, so that's the title for that. And then next, what you want to do is you want to you want to add different uh, columns. So this is what I did. I have one, two, three different col three different uh, columns, and then you have different. I'm sorry, three different rows, and then you know different columns. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to activate the JSM page builder by clicking on it. You can either click on a row like that. Or you can put your mouse over this. The first the, the first uh, row should be three columns. So you click, you put your mouse over add row and you want to click on the three. So that set that up. And then next thing is you want to put your mouse on here again. And then you want to select the four columns. Okay, so now you have this similar setup here. The page you're looking at, this is the layout. You have the one up here and then you have three and then you have four. Okay, so... Once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is you want to click on where it says add element. You click on add element and then you're going to select simple image with animation. And then you click on image file. You should have already, you know, uploaded upload the pictures that you're going to use for this. And I showed you how to do that uh, in, a, in a previous video. So you click on where it says image file. You, you click to select it. And then this is where you can upload the pictures that you want to add on the site. So what I've done here is I've already uploaded the, the, the pictures that I'm using, which are these here. So once you've uploaded the pictures, you just click on the one that you want to select. So you click on that. And then where it says click action, click on this and you want to click on open image link. So whenever someone clicks on this, it is going to take them to this the link that you designate here. So let's come back here. I'm going to go over to the products. So I'm just going to copy this product link and I'm going to add it here. So I have the product link there and then to click action, 
just leave it as open image link. And once you're done, you don't have to worry about the styling for this for now. And once you're done, you click on save. So you've added the, the first image. The next thing you want to do is you want to do the same thing for these three images, for this three sec uh, columns here. So you click on add element and do the same thing. Go to image and you want to click on the image file and you're going to select the image. And then where it says action, you do the same thing, link. So you want to link this here to the page that you want it to be. What I did here was this is a pre-designed banner that's going to link to a page. So if you have a graphic designer, if you're a graphic artist, you can design something to, to showcase your most popular products or something that you want to bring attention to. And then you can add the link on it here. And you put it like that and you click on save and close. So you do the same thing for these these two. And then the next thing that you want to do, just like I've done here, I have, you know, different images here. So when I'm on the home page, these are the, the images that you're looking at. Let me go back to the home page. So these are the images, this one, this one, and this one. These three are the images that you're looking at. One, two, three. So now let's work on this four modules, the modules that you created for the latest product, most popular feature, and things like that. So these are uh, the, the ones here. So what you want to do is you want to click on where it says add element and you want to click on Joomla module. Next, you want to click where it says module name. You click here to open up the modules. This is going to open up all the active modules on the site. So as you scroll down, you want to locate the module that you just created. In my case, I have, you know, the new product products that I created here. So the new modules that you created, you should see those on this page. If you don't see those, then you you know you can do something right. But you should be able to see those. And once you locate those, you click on it. And you're going to do that four times. So one, two, three, four. So you go to the next one. Add element. You click on the module. You locate the module. Now, when you locate the module, it's going to tell you that you can't see the preview. So let me show you exactly like what I mean here. I'm just going to choose something. So when you working, it's going to say preview is not available for this module. That's okay. It, it doesn't mean that it's not going to show it. The preview is going to be seen on the front end. So once you've done that, then yours should look just like mine here. And at this point, you can just click on save. So once you click on save, you want to go to the home page and refresh it. When I put my mouse over, you notice that I can click on it. This become hyperlink. So when I, I can click on this one, and it is going to take me to the all products page. So this is a great way if you want to link to, let's say you have a store that's really popular and you want to link to the those items there. Or if you want to link to a particular category, you can do this as well. And if you also notice, we had some items here on the right column, but those are no longer there. That is because I wanted to add more space uh, so that everything, you know, it fits better. So what I did is I removed the modules from the right side of this of uh, the page for the whole site. So let's go over. Let me show you how you can do that too on your end. So I'm going to close this out. So from the modules uh, modules manager here, you want to let's set this back to the default. From the module manager, you want to click where it says position, and you want to scroll down, and you want to click on the position right. This is going to show all the modules that were on the right side of the page. So what I'm going to do, what I did was I clicked on this check and then I click on disable or unpublish rather. When you click on unpublish, it is going to unpublish all this module. So let me publish this so you can see what it looks like. So all the modules here have been unpublished and they've been published again. So now you have this here on the right side of the page. So this is showing up throughout the entire site. So when I go back to the home page, you're going to see this section here. And if you also notice, there's a little overlap here with the with the products that is stretching over and is touching this. So we're going to fix that. But first, let's remove this whole thing here where it says welcome to my buying so website. Uh, we can keep that, but we can just take off the super user products and all this other stuff here. So let's do that. Go to extensions. You want to go to templates and then you want to choose the main template and you want to go over to where it says blog and where it says show icon. Click on no. Save and close. And then you want to go to menus. 
and we're going to find this home and we are going to remove the other stuff on the accept the title so you want to go to options where it says show title you want to leave that as use global and for the link title you want to leave that as well but everything else this one click on hide click on hide no and then click on hide for the rest of these here all the way to the very end and no click on no and you can leave so the only one that shouldn't have anything select is the position of the link and then also the show title link titles and then position of article info so once you've done that you want to click on save so once you do that you notice now that you have just this title welcome to my buy and sell website uh whatever you want to call it and then users can be able to you know scroll in and scroll to the, the site so what we're going to do now is we're going to change the spaces for this here because the it's too big so it's overlapping each one since it's a duplicate we're going to try a different width to see how it looks first so let's try 225 okay for the 225 we'll see the difference here is between these two so i'm going to change all the pin width all the pin width for the modules uh, the product modules to 225 and see if that makes any difference so i made some adjustments to the images so it's not overlapping much and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this latest store quick to cart cart and those titles off of those so i want to go over to the module and then i'm going to locate each one and where it says the title i'm going to set that to um to high everything looks a lot better now a lot cleaner so what i have here is i noticed that in order to get these to fit accordingly then i had to change the width for these i had to change the pin width to 190. so make sure you change all four of them to 190 if you don't want it to overlap and touch the right modules here so everything looks you know a lot cleaner and um it's you know it's a really great looking website it's something that when people come to it they know what they're looking for and how to get to wherever they want to be so a couple more minor things let's change this job social to network so we're going to change the name for that to network so we'll go over to menu and we just have to locate the job social and we're just going to change the, the text for that to network so people know that it's a network that they can connect to so network and let's refresh it see what we've got okay so now they have a network they can click on the network and it takes them here to be able to be part of your community